Don't nobody want it. We hella hot at the moment. We're coming for all opponents to feel incredible, don't it? So this is before, and then just 20 minutes later, this is after. Pretty cool, huh? I'm gonna keep driving safe. This is only gonna be used for passengers. Uber and Lyft drivers this is gonna be excellent because I can tether with my Pixel phone right to that so I can give myself internet anytime wherever I'm going. And if I wanna go into the camera, and you can see the camera perfectly here. You guys already know I'm a YouTuber, I review tech, and I have invested in YouTube a lot, but it's not making the income that I want, so I still work outside of YouTube. And something that I love is being my own boss and working at my own time. And what will let me keep living that way is doing Uber and Lyft. I was so close on spending five to six hundred dollars on a dash replacement front. Like literally it would replace my whole front panel where the stereo and the heating system is, just so that it feels real like part of the car. But then I was like, do I really want to spend that much money? If it doesn't end up working how I want it. So instead of doing that move, I went to the second solution is just getting a tablet and basically literally just place it on top of that screen that I have on my stock car because I don't really like it. And that's what we got out of here. All right, as you can see, I'm in a 2012 Kia Optima. This is a turbo version and it has its own screen. I think it's around five or six inches. If I press the brake, and hit start engine and then we got this bland ghetto FM style very responsive to the touch though and I can do all the customizations there the map is horrible I hate this map so I don't know who would want to use it all those GPS's on all the phones are way better than what this car has so around four years ago when I got the Nexus 7 I wanted to put this is the Apple iPad mini 4 um, it's perfectly sized it's 8 inches and I will show you that I wanted to do something like this with my last car, it's a lot brighter in here, so it looks like it stands out because we're paying attention to it. But if we were just be getting inside this car, you see a huge touchscreen. And obviously, if you have all your music and everything, you can go through it. This is going to be completely through Bluetooth. The only bad part about this iPad mini, since it's Wi-Fi, it doesn't have the cellular data. It does not have GPS. It's a big bummer. But there is an adapter that you can buy that goes on to here. I'll include it in the link if you want to do something like this. But I like it being super flat and flush and I can remove it anytime. I don't want to replace this. They sell other ones that actually replace this whole entire dash kit deck. I don't know what you call it. So in this case, I picked this up for $300. As an Android user, it doesn't do everything I would want it to do on an iPad, but what I'll be really using this for is for storing my music and also the ability to do Uber and Lyft and have some music that they can pick. So Uber and Lyft is another way of me making money. Not bad of an interior, it's a pretty nice car. This is an example. I could have one of these this is by case go mount core 360 or the mount T I think that's what it's called I love this for my phone so as soon as I put that inside my vent this little spot there and my Nexus my Nexus my pixel 2 XL has a little ring there it's just metal pretty flush and all I got to do is paste it on there and I have my phone working it's not in the way of the stereo and I can still use everything through there when I went on a trip and I was playing some music I played the video, friends in the car were watching the video, so I just twisted it to the side. It's nice, but it's not big enough. So this is why I want to have the iPad have a nice big screen for it my passengers to enjoy and of course me being able to do the hack and use this as a GPS and all that. I'm just trying the iPad out right now. So the easiest, cheapest method is going to be using Velcro. Still got the Velcro piece here, holds up to 10 pounds, all I need is two pieces. Depending on how you want to do it, but you can see that this is what's going to be held onto it and we'll take it off just like that. Now you can have the fingerprint scanner on the right side, but that's further away from me so I'm going to bring it on the left side so I can just do it with my finger closer rather than further away. It's a little bit closer. Now I have to figure out where exactly I'm gonna to have to put the tape, but we do have a rise here. So it's gonna look a little bit crooked, but it's not. Figured is I'm gonna put them at the very edges here. Now I think these Velcros costed around $3 for the whole set. And I got these ones because they have a sticky back. I don't have to glue it, but I'm thinking about putting this smooth side onto it so it looks a little bit more flush to it. I'm gonna go just a little bit smaller than half and just eyeballing it. You can measure it if you want to. So there we go, there's one strip. Okay, so I got two strips right now. Seems like it's gonna be perfectly fine there. Now, I'm not gonna peel it all the way off, I'm just gonna leave it sort of like this so I can line it. I don't wanna be too low or too high, so that seems to be pretty good. It's very sticky, I can feel it. 
Now the other side, if I don't have the iPad on here, it's not gonna look like an eyesore. Now just to double check, it might be a little bit sticking out some. Yes, so it's actually gonna be sticking out a little bit. And if you don't want it to show, then you're gonna have to do the strips a little bit smaller, made a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna check here and it covers it perfectly. So now we're gonna be on to the velcro -y side. I'm gonna quick eyeball it. While I'm here, I'm just gonna do the other side. Okay, got the sides. Probably wanna clean off the oil. I'm gonna do the flattest side and eyeball it. Make sure I don't cover the camera just in case. Also don't wanna cover the microphone. Okay, so there's my edge and I can't see it from the front. So now I'm gonna do the bottom, which is gonna be the left side. Definitely sticky. And what I like about this is not gonna really hurt or ruin the tablet. It's just a sticker base. So it's gonna be on there pretty tight. Now you have more strips if you mess up, of course. Okay, now the moment of truth. I'm going to stick it on it. And there we go. If I move it, it does have a movement to it, but I don't think driving around is gonna wiggle. Open it, perfect. Now I'm stretching my whole hand up here to touch it, but it does very good. You already know iPads are very responsive. I got the home button here. Depends where you want it. I think it's perfectly there because I don't have to reach as far. As there I have to really extend and touch it here a lot better up and down go into YouTube so if we were just to come in and sit down you can see that it's right and ready for you right then and there it really blends in it matches pretty well best quickest solution I can do that I don't have to replace my dash and hope that it works I can just do it all right here within reach. I'm gonna show you here on the sides what it looks like. It's the most flushest way you can get it without mounts. Velcro might seem or sound cheap, but it really does work. This is exactly what I was going for. Now at this point, I don't need to really touch anything in here. I can't see my climate exactly where it's going, but I never change it, so you will have to kind of sacrifice seeing some stuff here. But honestly, the only thing I won't see is just when those little dials here, which I hardly ever move, I always keep it there. I can feel the heat difference. I don't really need to really see that. For me, as of right now, the only thing I can say that's a negative doing it this way covering is when I reverse, I'm not gonna have the backup camera. Maybe your car doesn't have a backup camera, so it's not gonna be an issue there. Put it onto there. I feel comfortable. The nice thing about having a big screen here, like an iPad or tablet, whatever it's gonna be, is that if you're gonna do Uber or Lyft and you have a GPS on it, you're gonna have a big screen here. They're gonna be able to see it. So instead of just listening to the music, you'll be able to watch the video. Of course you need data and Wi-Fi connection with that install. It's 128 gigs so I can store a lot of stuff on here. And if I want to go into the camera, and you can see the camera perfectly here, I can literally just push record and have them recording. Although I have dash cam is right under here. That's always something that I want to have in my car. I always drive with dash cam. Here's the, the video. I uh, zoomed in a little bit more and I can press record just fine and record whatever's happening in here and I could also record outside with my dash cam but that's how it works there and we'll go into the photo here record whatever's happening in here and I could also record outside with my dash cam but that's how it works there if I just pull it from the top it actually pulls off so maybe you'd have a different solution like having a CD deck here that you just put the tablet and pull it off eventually maybe I can do something that I can just hang it on to there and then if I want to look inside of it real quick it'll stay open just like that and then it'll slap right back down but Yep, just with those little two Velcros there, it sticks on. I'm confident that it's not gonna pull off. It's not gonna wiggle. So yeah, two to three dollars for the Velcro and then you have whatever tablet you wanna use. I'm gonna keep driving safe. This is only gonna be used for passengers. I've always had a screen here for stereo. Uber and Lyft drivers is gonna be excellent because I can tether with my Pixel phone right to that so I can give myself internet anytime wherever I'm going. Other than that, thank you for watching. If you guys have any more suggestions or maybe a better idea, I can't hit the volume buttons, but I'm always gonna have it 100% in here. But I can still reach the power button right here on the side, or right there, and I can hit it there. I don't really need to hit it since I, all I have to do is just touch that and it opens up. But yeah, other than that, we can see that it works. I can dismiss all the stuff. It's perfect. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share it to your friends. Let me know if it works for you. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.